Hello, especially to my students and colleagues and the Department of Civil Engineering of Cebu Institute of Technology University, Cebu City. If every morning is a blessing, then this is the time for us to share the blessing. I'll be discussing the remaining to sample problems in simple stress. But before that, let me share to you my happiness of observing that our new YouTube channel, which is a one the old channel, is now gaining subscribers and viewers. And I'm happy for and I am happy for that. So for those who are not able to subscribe yet, so try to subscribe and share. Okay, let's proceed. This is the problem that I'm going to discuss. There's a lab joint that is fastened by four three-fourth inch diameter rivet. Calculate the maximum load bay that can be applied if the shearing stress and the rivets is limited to 14 KSI and the bearing stress and the plate is limited to 18,000 KSI. Assume that the applied load is uniformly distributed among the four rivets. Figure. Okay, so there you have the figure. So for the solution, so it is P here, which is the unknown. No, so let's go to the solution. Aside from that, you are also given the thickness there. So the width of the plate. So they are expressed in terms of an English unit, right? Okay, for the solution. So I can start maybe with either shearing or bearing. So we have the two allowables for shearing and I also have the bearing stress allowable for the plate shearing of the rivet. Now so considering P obtained by considering the shearing of the rivet. Okay, so here is my figure. So it's the rivet that prevented the lap joint from sliding. No, if you have to apply a forcer, so it is prevented by these forces V. That is the B lap on the section of the rivet. So if we will be talking with sharing stress, so it is a stress that is the B lap to prevent no <coughs> from sliding the portion here. No, so ang imong area of the the cross sectional area of the rivet is the one that prevents from sliding. No, so mo slide mo if the force is applied here, so there is a tendency to slide. But before but before mag slide na siya, so there is a resisting force which is V. V is the shear force. So, rivet 1, 2, 3, and 4 will take the same resistance V. Okay? So, what is the shearing stress formula? Shear formula, or the shearing stress formula is V over A. So, if I'm up there for the force V, then V is a product of allowable shearing stress times the area. But, at equilibrium equation, your P will be balance with the four sharing forces V. So, P is equal to 4B. Okay? So, you notice in the last equation that P is defined equal to 4V. So, V can now be expressed in terms of P. So, it is V equal to P over 4. And if I'm going to go back to the formula here or my V equal to stress times the area so pwede na kumo substitute my V is now equal to P over 4 14,000 pounds per square inch is also equivalent to 14 KSI so if I have 14 KSI it's good also as 14,000 pounds per square inch okay so the unit for the area or length is in inches so area is in square inch no? Now, what is the resisting area in every rivet? It is the area of the section. Gawin na on na or yung answer na niya ra. Very excited. Said no? Okay, said it lang. So, P over 4 is equal to allowable stress times the area. So, since the area of the section is a circle, so we can adapt the area of the circle. Pi over 4. Then, what's the diameter of the rivet? The diameter of the rivet is 3 fourth. Ends, no? So it is pi over 4, 3 fourth ends, 
So that is in square because the formula is pi over 4 d squared. So there we obtain a value of p. Actually, ang atong pangitaon is the value of p, the maximum value of p. But, kinisya possible pa ni? Because there is also an allowable stress coming from the plate, that is, the bearing stress and the plate, whose value is equal to e10,000 case i. No? So, ato sa itong tanahon. So, the solution would be the same, pero ato ta sa bearing resistance. That figure is good for the shear. So, I can change it to a figure involving bearing. So, asa man ang bearing ini. The bearing stress mo, build up. The bearing stress will be, be, will be sa, build up at a point of contact between the rivet and the plate. So, kini. Doon na na siya bearing stress niya. Doon na na bearing stress niya. Yeah. So, PB is the bearing force. And again, ang atong bearing forces upat, mauna ni counter sa atong externally applied force P, which is to be <coughs> determined. Okay? So, for this, ganina, kung naatay usa ka rivet, no? So, mo ni ato ang gitawag o bearing area. Ato ko ng tanawan ang atong formula for the bearing stress. <coughs> bearing stress is P over A. And force is equal to stress times the area. The bearing area is equal to, unsa? asa man atong bearing area? Diameter of the ball times T. Kaya mo mo atong gigamit ka na atong i-project the ray. Ang atong diameter sa atong sa bolt, kung naka kayo ka bolt diha, then imo na i-project diha, magkita na nato dere, which is rectangular in form. Diameter ka na, the thickness is considered, so the bearing area is diameter of the bolt times T. What is our PB? O sa atong PB? So PB can be obtained by using the equation of equilibrium. We have P which is now equal to 4 PB. So PB is equal to P over Four. Muna ito is substitute right here. P over 4, P is an unknown, so it is your PB. So, ito is substitute including the given values. So, this is the allowable stress for bearing whose value is 18,000 pounds per square inch. Or you may have 18, then KSI. No? Pero, ito na lang yung convert to pounds. No? So, this is square inch, square inch. No? So, the diameter of the bolt is known to be, bila ito ganina, 3 fourth of an inch. And the thickness is, ganito as a first figure, that is 7 over 8. So, that is, sub, they are substituted. N squared is out. The unit now is expressed in terms of pounds for your P. P over 4. So, this expression will be multiplied by 4 to remove this out from the denominator of P. So, there I obtain a value of P. So, the value of P is 47,250 pounds, which is also equivalent to 47.25 kips. Now, previously, we also come up with the value of P. What is the value of P? And the first, and the first, prob uh, in the first value, we obtain out from the sharing of the rebate, we have a value of we come up with a value 24.74 kips. No? That value will be used as the answer. Because if you have to adapt your sa value 47.25 kips, no, this is only safe for bearing. But the sharing stress capacity or the capacity of your rivet is only up to a certain value. 14 keys I and the possible load it can be carried as only 24.74 and in order for this whole assembly to be safe then I must adopt the safe value as my answer 24.74 okay so that's the complete solution for the first now this last is this one Find the smallest diameter bolt that can be used in a clevis. As shown, if the load P is equal to 400 kN, sharing strength and the bolt is 300 MPa. This is the bolt. Okay. So, the load is here. Okay. So, ang atong kuhaon is the diameter of this bolt. Okay. So, how to solve that? When you're going to apply the force here, the bolt 
will actually resist this load. Now, so the section of the bolt will prevent from sliding. Now, okay, if you have to apply a forcer, the tendency of this bolt is to break there. So, before we break this, yeah, so it's prevented with your shearing resistance. No? So, kung ato na i-consider niya, doon na kay duha kapuwent at which doon ay possible fracture later. If the force applied is so excessive to go beyond the allowable shearing stress. Okay, now, considering the shearing of the bolt, no? ang ato karong load is now counteracted by two areas of the bolt. That is why this is classified under a double shear. No? So, doon na kay duha ka area nga mo offer resistance to the applied load. Okay? By equilibrium, P is equal to, to V. No? So, pwede na nato magamit. No? Because our shear force is equal to the product of, a, of the allowable sharing stress times the area. So, ang atong V, atong i-compute, may atong i-pulli diri. Now, so P over 2. Okay. So, we have this one. P over 2, allowable for, pilang allowable, 300 megapascal. E sige naman tayong gamit, ang megapascal, hindi mo na ito, ang onsa. Newton per millimeter squared, we have pi D squared over 4. The D squared is the, or the D is the unknown, my P is equal to the given, which is 400 kilo newton. 400 kilo newton is good as pila? 400,000 newton. Okay? So, akong gihimong newton because my stress is now expressed as newton per square millimeter. Para magpariho. And P over 2, so 400 kilo newton divided by 2. No? Akong ipuli or 400,000 newton over 2 and that's equal to 300 megapascal this is megapascal and you have pi over 4 and the unknown d which is in square so simplifying you arrive with your d and you arrive with the answer because there is no other condition here no? pero yan to pag inintanaw daghan pa ni stresses mo uh, build up no? so kining a partner eh, so may stress mo build up Okay, pimo nang tanaw na, no, mabira. So, there is a tendency to ilunggit, no? And this is a body, this is another body. So, right here, doon na sa yun saan, doon na yung mga bearing stresses mo build up. Yan, kung man tagipangutahan na yung una na, ito lang nang tanaw sa mga possibility of developing other kind of stresses. Okay, for today, so we have to stop and again, goodbye for this session. And I hope you were able to learn on the topic of simple stresses. Thank you for watching.